Hi everyone, this is Angelica here. So today I'm gonna do a couple of things. Um, first of all, I'm gonna show and tell uh, the the book that I did, um, the album that I did, well, project pretty much that I did uh, when I was at Frank Garcia's class yesterday. And this project is uh, to do this mini album. And this mini album it has like two boxes and which is uh, glued together. Well, we had to gesso it and then glued together. And then we did a lot of um, matting, embellishments and such and pop dotting and doing some trinkets yeah and then there's two sided to this it's really really cool and um, yeah so there's I'll just kinda show you uh, the album there's one of the album is like that super cool. I'm just going to randomly show you. Okay, and then it fits in here like that. And then there's the other side. That's, oh, small side. Just like this. Very, very um, like everything in here is like so awesome. Like Frank is just such a great teacher instructor. I swear to God, I was so happy I'm in his class. His this class was really really fast paced, and um, he uses his new collection called Arc. Uh, archivist, the archivist, and this this paper line is so pretty. I love it so much. Uh, so yeah, he has uh, these are these are what's in the new collection that he has um, in the in the kit. It's just so nice. I love it. Everything is in here is just awesome the one that the class kit and the most that I love about is these super cute uh, wooden embellishments I just love it it's just because because it's just like totally my type of theme it's like Paris theme I just love it so much and just can't get enough of it and I'm probably gonna get another set of this because I will use it all the time. Probably one or two two extra sets of this later on. And it also has this glue, uh, glass glue. And it's really, really nice. And I, I have this one, um, but you can't have enough of these. You could use it on anything and everything. And, uh, I'll just lift it up and show you what I did here. And there's a lot of flowers on here. And we did, and there's a trinket in the middle there. This one. This is like a watch. It looks like a pocket watch. And then it's actually a pocket watch that it's like that round, that big. And it's in silver and then yeah, we did something to it um, to make it gold and it looks so nice. Um, the stuff that he used to do it. And also he put some of the uh, glass glitter in this at the bottom here and in his class he put one of the bling um, 
just one bling, but I decided I wanted three blings, so I added three blings here to make it look more baroque because that's that's my type of style of uh, of vintage sort of thing, I guess. And I also he didn't in his class he didn't add the this Paris tower. I don't know if you could see it on here, the wooden Paris tower. But I added it just because I love Paris, the Eiffel Tower. And I also added some, um, uh, I use more of the glossy accent and I squish the squ glossy accent out of the Paris Tower at, from the back. And so the glossy accent spills out to the sides and so I could put some of the glass glitter on the to outline the the um, Paris Tower. I mean the Eiffel Tower, and I also added this um, wooden butterfly, and that's also from the wooden collection um, by Frank and the Archivist wooden icons. And I also did the same thing. I put more of the glossy accent at the bottom and I squished this down so the glossy accent would spill out at the back. And I could put some of the copper glass glitter on the sides here. And yeah, so let's do a close up. I hope I'm not making you guys dizzy. Okay. And so, yeah, it's like this. And I, when we were doing our class, um, because this, it has like, it has a lot of work to do on this. And um, our class was like 10 to six. And I was like, oh my god, are you serious? 10 to 6 to finish something like this? It's like, usually, for me, it would probably take like, I don't know, maybe a couple days to finish it. Um, and he did it within 10 to 6. And But the only thing we did not finish is doing the... Uh, the stick link. Oops. Oh, I didn't put this uh, tight enough. Just give me one second. There we go. Okay, so we didn't have enough time to finish the stickles and stuff. So I did that on my own a little bit today. And I was playing around with the stickles. And uh, yesterday... I kind of overlooked at how Frank Garcia was doing the, how Frank was doing his stickles, but I was kind of far away, so I didn't really, I didn't really see much of how he did the technique. But I know he does like kind of like a, uh, kind of like a tap 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 tap, like really really he did it super fast and it's like perfect. And I was um, trying it out on my other paper before I tried it on here. And I do want to show you guys how I do it. And um, especially if you want to do something like this. And you and there's like three layers, right? So there's like the bottom layer, the second layer, and the third layer. And you want to... Because I thought of a way to make, because sometimes when you do stickles, um, especially something like this, you um, you don't want to kind of like, you don't want to waste too much time stickling. And so I thought of a way to make it so you won't have to wait for the stickles to dry in order to move on to the next part. And I will show you that right now. 
Okay, so he didn't teach me that, but I um but I think the way that I do it it will help you guys to to uh, do your sickles on your project. I'm gonna do it on this side just because this side is not done yet. Okay, and I hope you could see like that. Um, just give me one second. I'm just gonna because my sickle sometimes it gets stuck, so I'm just gonna po I'm poking a needle through it and then just wiggle a little bit, so I get a good squeeze at the stickle and I want to make sure that my stickle has no bubbles so I'm just gonna put the cap back on and I'm gonna tap like this just to make oops don't drop it and make sure that the bubbles goes back up to the top here and not at when you are stickling when you are stickling if there's like bubble um, in the tip of your stickles, it will tend to pop and it will make some mess on, uh, it will make a mess on your, on your page. And then you'll probably have to, um, wipe that area and start over. Okay. Let's do this. And I'm going to see if I could zoom in a little bit. Okay, I hope you guys could see what I'm doing when I'm doing this. I'm going to do it on a slab because my my uh, lighting, it's better like this for you guys to see. And I'm just going to do it like this. And then when you do stickles, you want to squeeze a little bit. And then, I don't know if you could see. Okay, so you have to squeeze a little bit until you get to like a little bit like that. Like a little bit like this. And then, then you put your, your stickle very, very close and you kind of tap it a little bit onto the page and immediately pull it up like slightly okay and then you just and when you want to do this if you're right-handed like me you want to do the top top right hand corner oh sorry top left hand corner working towards your left uh, I mean you left corner going towards your right. So okay, I'll, zo I'll zoom out and show you what I'm doing. Okay, let's um, do that. And zoom out a little bit more. And I'll show you what I mean. So Okay, so now you're done with this this area, and that's the left side. And then now let's continue on to the right box. Okay, my stickle tip is plugged. I'm just gonna. Redo this. 
and use my needle again to Okay, and I'm just going to zoom it in. I'm not sure if you could see my stickles. Do you see it? I know it's very, very light, but it's there. And um, let's zoom out again because I want to tell you how you should do your next area. So now when you do, <coughs> we'll zoom out a little bit more. Okay, so now you have the top area here done. And if you want to continue on and not make a mess when you're right-handed, you have to Um, you go over here and you stickle it all the way down until you hit the spot. So you go down here all the way here to this level to the second layer up to the second layer and then same with this up to the second layer here up to the second layer here up to the second layer and then you could stickle this area I used to cool this area. Okay, so let's do that right now. Okay, and now do the, oh, actually, no, should do this part first before you do the black area, the second layer. Let's see. Sorry, I kind of made a boo boo here, but no problem. You could you know, use your fingers to wipe it, like what I'm doing. And do it again. Or you could use a pellet knife, whichever. So now it's all stickled, and now you could go to the black, to the black area, and start stickling all the way just at the top, on here and on here. the next so now I'm just going to zoom in and show you That. Now the top part is done of, on the black cardstock. Okay, and let's zoom back out again. And now we're going to do, because we want to do this, the third, uh, the third layer, which is the top um, image. But before you do the third layer, you should, you see where we uh, left off over here? And now we have to, now we have to stickle up to here where this is aligned, where the third layer is aligned. 
So you stickle this first, and then you stickle the black um, layer also up to this, this area. And same with this, you stickle this here, and then you stickle this, or you could stickle this, and then you could do this one. Maybe it's easier. And then this one from here to here, and then here to here, here to here. And let's do that. I'm just going to lift this so I could see. Okay, now we've done that. Now we could start doing this area, the third layer. Oh, I screwed up right there. So I'm just going to use my finger and lightly clean that up and then start over. If not you if you're not used to it, um don't try and do it too fast when you stickle. Um just do it slowly and um, when you get used to it you could do it faster but when you start uh, don't force yourself to do it too fast because it could make um, a complete mess and you're going to be wasting your stickles so yeah and now since we're done now I'm going to show you again and zoom it in okay so now we're done both of the top area of these flowers. Okay, so like so. And now we want to work on small areas and get and work our way down the birds. Okay, so let's do that. So now we're gonna stickle a little area, work a small area at a time. So let's do maybe an inch, an inch, an inch, all the way through. Not too greedy, all at once. Okay. And I'm still, you could see, I'm still not perfect at doing this still learning because I just learned how to stickle like this today and I was only training myself for uh, half an hour or so on 
on another project. And now let's do. Oops. So I'm just gonna use my um my palette knife. Where did it go? Excuse me one second. Okay, I'm just gonna use my palette knife here because I kind of made a boo boo. Oh, not there. I made a boo boo on here. Just scoop it. Okay. Sorry, I'm just going to lift this up so I can see. Okay. And now this now it's almost close to half. Now we want to since it's like this area is done, this area is done. And now we're going to go another inch. So now you kind of see where I'm coming from. And now you're not really actually waiting for the uh, the stickles to dry and then and then go on to another area to stickle. Now you could just continue stickling and not wasting time on the drying part because when you stickle this area, the top area is already starting to dry and so you're not really wasting time at all. And I will, for those who are left-handed, I will explain how you could do it um, for left-handed. And it's going to be the total opposite of what a right-handed person is doing on how you stickle it. Okay, so I made another boo-boo. Let's scoop that away lightly. Kind of scrape it. It's just kind of like you know taking out some your the icing on top of your cake if you made a boo boo. Same thing. Okay, maybe some of you won't really care much on small boo boos like that, but I'm kind of picky in a way. So just kind of bear with me. Okay, I just need to lift this up for a second so I could see. Okay, and now another inch on here. Okay, my thing is stuck, so I'm gonna use my needle again. Poke it. And just continue.
this up again. Oh, I screwed up. Ah. Oof. My hand is getting tired and my movement is slowing down. No need to rush and stickling. If you're tired, um, just like take a rest and go back to it when you're ready to stickle. Or else sometimes like when your hand is tired, you're the precision of squeezing the thing and trying to get it get the stickle to um, look perfect it's kind of hard okay so when you are at this point closer to the bottom when you're right-handed what you should do now is you should use your other hand to support this hand on the table and then if this has no stickles on it yet then you could rest your hand on here and try to balance it and then stickle and you should at the bottom part you should start stickling the top I mean the far side of the box and then work your way back towards yourself okay so now I'm gonna stickle this area here hold on I think there's something stuck on here yes there is good thing I saw that so And especially at the edge here, it gets my hand gets kind of wobbly, so I kind of slow down my stickling. And now, because now you want to go to the black area, now you go straight to the black area. Don't do the sides yet. And start stickling on here. Okay? And then do the same on here. Just stickle this. Okay. And then do the stickles on this one. And now, what you do, now you're done stickling this, this whole area, right? So now you could go stickling all the way down to close the gap on this one. And you could do it slowly. So I'm just gonna go back to it because not enough stickles on those. Oops. Okay, now you've done that, and now you want to finish this one up. All the way to the end here. And then I see there's some that you haven't stickled from starting from here. Now you want to stickle this only up to this 
the line of this black, um, the second layer. So I'll show you what I mean. So you stick go here, up to here, and stop. And now you're going to start stickling the bottom part of this black layer only. And do it slowly. Okay. And before I finish stickling this whole thing, I'm going to stickle this area, this second area, and stickle only up until this, the black, the black layer. And I made another boo boos. Okay, anyhow. And only up to there. Okay, and then I'm going to do that, do the same to this other side. Okay, and I stop right there, and then I'm going to start stickling on this. And my thing is stuck again. Just need to use my needle and poke it again. Okay, that should be good. And then now we have to go up to here. Oops. And. Okay, I'm going to stick hold this area and then that, I'm going to stop right there. And I'll finish this by sticking this Okay, and I'm, now I'm going to finish this other area. Up until right there. And stick hold this up until the end. Okay, and same with this up until the black layer. And now I'm going to finish up this black layer here, the whole entire bottom. Uh oh, I screwed up right there. So I'm going to scoop it up. there. So now the black, the entire black layer is complete. And now you want to, and you still have this area of the main layer haven't been done yet. And then this just a little bit area 
you have to stickle here. So you should stickle this area, or actually it doesn't really matter. You could stickle this area and then stickle this area, or you could just simply just stickle both of these areas and then you could just go like that. Since you're not gonna be touching the um, stickle the these other areas anyways because your hand is gonna be like this your elbow is actually resting on the table and using your other hand to help it balance and make it sturdy Okay, my thing is blocked again, the tip. Um, sorry about that, guys. It happens. Let's try this again. Okay, now to this area. Actually, I'm just gonna do this area first. Oh my goodness. That thing is stuck again. Oh dear. I hate it when that happens. Now I'm gonna try and do it this way going backwards. Oh actually it's easier if you go backwards like this at the end. There we go, I'm done. But the way uh, that I do it for righty, people that is right-handed, that's how I do it. And it makes life easier for us um, because now you, you are stickling all this in pretty much one go. You don't have to, you know, do this and then wait. And then wait until it dries and then do this and wait until it dries. It's kind of wasting time, I guess. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any further questions in regards to how to do this, uh, you could feel free to comment below and um, or text me and I mean put a comment in my Google Plus and uh, if you want me to kind of explain it more thoroughly um, or you know or in a hangout or something and I could do that um, in a private hangout. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. So if you have any question, please do not hesitate to write me a comment um, or questions below. And if you like this video tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and Subscribe to my channel for any shows, events, hangouts, or just simply tutorials and other hauls and stuff. 
Okay? Okay, you guys have a wonderful day. Okay, see you guys later. And thank you for watching. Bye.